Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador. Now I'm really interested to showcase a couple of lenses that I'm very excited about. They're not uh, for the full frame cameras, they're for the APS-C or crop sensors. Typically we're looking at the A6000 series from the 6000 right up to the Alpha 6600 cameras. Now I've got them um, showcased on, on these cameras here. You will notice that one of these cameras is actually a full frame camera. It's the A7R4. Now the A7R4 in APS-C mode is actually shooting at a higher resolution than the 24 megapixel APS-C cameras and this has spiked my interest. A lot of um, people looking at the A7R4 and reviewing the A7R4 actually said that um, perhaps there was too much resolution with this camera. But um, the resolution of the APS-C mode, 26 megapixels, actually gives this camera uh, a dual personality. It can be the ultra high definition camera for maybe advertising photographers or landscape photographers. But when we're wanting to travel much lighter, we now have the option of maybe putting on some of the lighter uh, lenses from the APS-C range. And uh, obviously now we have premium glass. So the first one that is actually on this A7R4 is the 1655 constant f2.8. It's a G which denotes the quality and it is bang sharp. It is pin pin sharp corner to corner even at the wider apertures and so this is premium glass. Now this uh, this focal range would pops possibly be similar to maybe the 24-105 uh, f4 lens. That 2.8 uh, aperture gives it uh, the the equivalent depth of field that we're getting on that 24105. We don't have quite the reach, but we've got a 25% weight saving over this constant f2.8. Now, if you're if you're looking to travel really light, maybe with the APS-C cameras, uh, this uh, lens is going to give you a no compromise quality. Um, I've all also been using the 18 to 135 lens, and that has excellent center sharpness. It's a it's a lens that I've loved to use but at the wider focal lengths wide open we do tend to lose corner sharpness uh, whereas this lens it doesn't lose that corner sharpness so this is premium quality glass. Now the lens that I'm most excited about however is the 70 to 350. Now um, for most reasons um, or most instances when I have been using an APS-C mod uh, um, a camera to shoot action sports. I've had to um, not use the 55 to 10 lens, which is sharp, but doesn't have the speed of autofocus to keep up with the A6000 series cameras. So I've always been recommending using a full frame um, zoom lens with the APS-C bodies. Now this does mean that we're carrying extra weight, it's bigger, and it does uh, mean that we're paying for more glass than we actually need to cover the APS-C sensors. So I've been really waiting for a lens where I didn't actually have to carry this 70 to 200 f4 lens and that as a course has arrived with the 70 to 350. Not only is it smaller, lighter, cheaper and it's really sharp as sharp as that 70 to 200 full frame glass is um, we've actually got a significant increase in reach. This is now 350 millimeters compared to the 200 millimeters. Now in full frame equivalents that's giving us 525 full frame equivalent on the reach. And so when we compare uh, the size of that lens to something that would give us uh, the reach that we're looking for on full frame, you're looking at this really big, heavy, expensive glass. Now this has um, a 400 mil reach, but it is um, probably twice as heavy and large and much more expensive than the G lens here. And uh, we've also, if we're going for that full frame equivalent on a full frame uh, camera, we'd have to invest in, in, a, in something like the 200, 600, which is probably getting on for four times heavier um, than um, this, this lens. Admittedly, it's got a little bit more reach, but we don't actually have any advantage over maximum aperture compared to this one. 
Now Sony have not um, uh, compromised on the AF speed of this lens. They put one of their new linear motors in here and I've tracked this um, with uh, fast running dogs on the beach as you can see from the illustrations but also with the faster MotoGP bikes. Um, and I've tested that at the MotoGP uh, on the full frame cameras. And uh, the lens can certainly keep up with the fastest cameras. And that includes the new Alpha 9 II camera. This, uh, this lens basically never missed a beat when matched with a fast focusing camera. So we have, um, we have some great options now, especially for those who also want to shoot with full frame cameras particularly the R cameras because you're going to get 18 megapixels on an A7R2, A7R3 in APS-C mode and if you're not wanting to carry your big heavy glass because maybe you don't expect to encounter uh, too much wildlife on a landscape shoot then just taking and packing maybe this lens just in case we have a surprise encounter. Uh, I had a surprise encounter when I was in Death Valley to shoot landscapes recently when we came across a coyote and certainly the ability to put on and get that that reach on our uh, a7r4 camera but without uh, carrying the extra weight uh, I prefer to carry messenger bags rather than backpacks and certainly these lenses are going to travel with me for the APS-C cameras but also the full frame cameras as well so I'll put some links down in the info below the movies and you can look at the quality of these lenses. Now some people will say how sharp and I always like to showcase um, uh, the lenses using ultra high definition images. Now view these images on a very large high ultra high definition monitor uh, basically a 4k uh, 27 a 27 inch or 30 inch monitor just to see that uh, when i'm saying these lenses are sharp you can see they're incredibly sharp okay so um, hopefully uh, these are the lenses you've also been waiting for uh, not also for not only for APS-C cameras but maybe also for your full frame r camera so i'm mark gayler sony imaging ambassador